Okay, in this video, we're going to go over the um, the connection and the scanning of the, uh, the receiver and microphone, the transmitter, and a few other things, but this is all about the um, wireless connections here. So, okay, here's our receiver. Um, first off, if you see this uh, up and down arrow, this is going to, you'd hit the up and down arrow, you could ch check, uh, choose between a preset, tuning it like a radio or a scan. I like scan because it's going to scan to see, uh, you know, where a good frequency is with uh, little, as little interference as possible. So go to scan first and then you're going to hit set. Now it's in set mode and you're going to hit this up arrow or down arrow, but I'm going to hit up and it's going to scan now. 548.35. If you want to hit it up again, make it scan again. Okay. And uh, I'll hit it again. Let's stop there. 560. But it's scanning for good, solid frequencies um, with as little interference as possible. So I'm going to stop there at 56.40. I'll hit set. Okay, now we're good to go. But as you'll see, we've got 560.40. And our microphone is set at a different, it's at 566.350. So we've got to make this match. And we're going to do it by doing a sync. Press this button at the bottom of the microphone and hold it. You can see the sync is starting to blink. Continue to hold it, and then as you're holding it, you're going to hit the sync button at the bottom. Bam. Okay. So now, part two. It's synced. You can see on the microphone, it says 560.400. 560.400. Okay. And... Okay, now for part two. Um, RF, that's going to be the connection between your your microphone and the receiver. A microphone can also be called the transmitter. So uh, how solid and strong is the RF? How solid and strong is the connection between the microphone and your receiver? So, And you'll see as the microphone is getting farther away, this will start to dip down. Or if somebody's blocking it, you know, getting, you know, standing in the way or there's other things blocking the, the transmission, you'll start to see this go down. This is a good first indicator because a lot of times you could do a scan and you're not getting full bars. You'll, you're, you could do a scan and you're only getting half bars. So if the microphone is close or, you know, relatively close and right from the start, you're not getting full bars do another scan this is step one do a scan until you got all the bars okay and maybe take the microphone away like you know 20 30 feet and check you want to have as many bars as possible kind of similar to a phone you know you want to you want as many bars as possible um so af that's your audio frequency that is stuff coming in audio frequencies coming in so when I talk on the mic, I'm going to do it. Testing one, two. Check one, two. Testing one, two, three. You can see that was the audio frequency coming in. Now here's where you're going to get um, a little head start with seeing if there's interference in the area. Um, you can have your speakers turned off. Um, and you'll, you'll start seeing things jumping around there you're not even talking on the microphone and you're going to start seeing stuff jumping in there that's interference and time to do another scan 